close the connection and establish a brand new one. I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you to just go away forever. No, just come back with a new connection and we'll talk. Let's just come back. But this time you're going to come with a new connection, fresh. There's a new file descriptor. None of the old crap is there. Everyone's happy. It's clean. Well, Hussein, can't we just do a reset? Can't we just do a fin? You can. It's just a little harsh to do that. It's h harsh to just, just shut the door on, on people's face. That's not nice. Is it nice? That's not nice. There are many reasons where a server might want to shut down an existing connection. One example is if the client is abusing the connection by sending a lot of requests in a very short period of time, which then leads to an overwhelming processing time at the back end. This might be just the fact that there is a lot of requests coming in at the same time and just parsing and understanding and reading those requests takes time by itself and then not to mention also the actual processing time for those requests these are two different things so the server might say hey this is a little too much for me let's agree to close the connection another reason is that the server is overwhelmed in general not by this particular client by but by other background operations you know and there is like not enough memory not enough cpu and the implementer of this protocol decided to say hey let's free up this connection let's close this connection and maybe the client is not there and maybe this client is not important enough so let's just close that connection to free up some memory so i can can breathe a little bit. Another reason, which is also common, is I'm not really overwhelmed per se, but this particular connection has been used and overused for a very long time. Tons of requests has been sent on it. Tons of responses have been streamed on it. Massive number of data structures have been cached and left there. You might say that's just bad programming practice. Why don't we just clean up after each request? Yeah. Easier said than done, to be honest. Caching reasons. Hey, I might use this later, this memory structure. Let's keep it over there. But the next request comes in and we forget about it. Or we just say, hey, this this just this area might I might use it later, but it ended up never being used. There is many reasons that there are resources occupied by this single connection. And it's just there. So when you close the connection. You were telling the applications, in this case, the backend application, to say, hey, it's this, this, just, just, just close this connection and destroy any related memory data structure. This is especially true for object-oriented programming, where, where there are an object within an object and a nested object, and all of these things are heavy. You know, this just occupy memory. So you want to just flush all this stuff. It's just like, let's just get rid of it. You know, I don't need to maintain all of this stuff. So a common practice is if you reach a certain number of requests per connection, you would tell the backend web server or even reverse proxies to just close the connection or tell the client to close the connection and establish a brand new one. I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you to just go away forever, no. Just come back with a new connection and we'll talk. Let's just come back. But this time, you're gonna come with a new connection, fresh. There's a new file descriptor. None of the old crap is there. Everyone's happy, it's clean. So that's a common practice that we do. And this tells me that there is this need to shut down a connection, to close a connection. You might say, well, Hussein, 
Can't we just do a reset? Can't we just do a fin? You can. It's just a little harsh to do that. It's h harsh to just just shut the door on, on people's face. That's not nice. Is it nice? That's not nice. It's not nice. So what we do is do we do dun -da -da -dun -da -da, graceful shutdown. And that's the topic of today back in engineering show this name how about we jump into it welcome to the back in engineering show with your host hussein nasser and graceful shutdown is a very important back-end application notion uh, you want to tell the client to close and clean up after itself, but you want to do it in a way such that we can essentially give chance to both the server and the client to do maintenance. First, to clean up what, to finish processing what we have processing. It's like, hey, I'm about to shut down, but you got some time to either for me to finish processing existing requests that you already sent or for you to stop sending requests because you know I'm not going to process those. So, hey, this is your notification to stop sending me requests. And that's what is essentially... A graceful shutdown in a minute and i want to talk about a graceful shutdown essentially in http 1.1 the old days i say old days we still use http 1.1 it's a very valid protocol it's i love it it's it's simple it's neat right it's if you have certain requirements i always use http 1.1 for it but we also live in a world where we have http 2 and also HTTP 3, which is on top of Quick. 